twice as expensive now for that contractor. Question number five, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Regional Development, Economic Development. Does he think that there will be a greater or lesser level of investment in New Zealand's regions in the next few years when he takes into account investment by the Provincial Growth Fund, other government investments such as road transport funding, and private sector investment, both domestic and foreign? Speaker. The Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, on behalf of the Minister for Regional Economic Development, there will be a much greater level of investment in the regions. <laughs> to the Minister, why does he think an increase to the regional roading improvement funding class of around $35 million a year more than National proposed makes up for a $5 billion withdrawal of investment from the state highway network, the lifeblood of the regions. Mr. Speaker, uh, the minister, the member, just admitted that it was double what they were giving it for a start. And then, if you look at the level, then you look at the, the level of added investment arising from the regional fund and put in by private business. It'll be much greater than it is right now. To the minister, does he think provincial drivers paying higher petrol? taxes, in part to fund trams in Auckland, will regard him as the region's champion. Order. No responsibility. Further question? <laughs> question to the Minister. Isn't it true that when it comes to defending the regions from big business... Order. Order. Um, no, sorry. I, I, am, I am going to interrupt. Um, I, I'm sure that the uh, Honourable Jerry Brownlee is not really inviting me to take the ultimate sanction with him, but his repeated interjections um, have caused his party now the loss of four supplementary questions. And my, and my suggestion is that he listen to his colleague's question and being, a, being an experienced member who's had experience in opposition before, and I say from being on the receiving end, has done it very well, gives some advice to his colleagues about to, how to ask questions that are in order. And a starting point is that the question has to address something for which the Minister has parliamentary responsibility. Point of order. A point of order, the Honourable Jerry Browning. I would simply point out that the Honourable Shane Jones has repeatedly stood up in question time and day after day described himself as the provincial champion. To simply ask him, uh, does he think that still stands, it seems perfectly in line with all the questioning that has been allowed in the House so far. No, it's, there's a difference between a question and an answer, and the member is aware of that. Is there a further supplementary question? A point of order, the Honourable Simon Bridges. The issue, Bridges. Mr Speaker, we have, uh, and it's a, a very serious point of order, is that you are taking a finely tuned, very minute approach to the questions, but you're effectively saying in relation to the answers that you don't have responsibility for them. That makes it incredibly difficult and, frankly, unequal for the opposition. Well, I, 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 I suggest the member go back and listen to the tape. Supplementary. Isn't it true that when it comes to defending the regions from big business, he is a tiger, but when it comes to defending the regions from his own government, he's a pussycat? <laughs> or, order. I, I, I'm assuming that we're going to have a repeat of the, the right honourable gentleman asking leave to answer an out-of-order question. Mr Speaker. It is, no, no, I'm ruling it out of order. Can I seek the House's indulgence and leave to answer that question? Leave has been requested to answer an out-of-order question. Is there any objection? There appears to be none. The right Mr Speaker, thank you very much. Can I just say, here are the facts. In the next three years, while state highway funding reduces by 500 million or 11 per cent, funding for regional or local roads improvements and maintenance increases by 1.2 billion or 26 per cent. Far outweighing order, any reduction. Order, order, a point of order, the Honourable Jerry Brownlee. I'm, of course, listening very carefully to the answer being given on Mr Jones's behalf by the Deputy Prime Minister. 
Uh, but it might help him if the question, although it be out of order, was asked again, because that answer bears no resemblance to anything that could be considered addressing the question. And, and, and no, no, the, no, the question's not going to be asked again. We're not, we're not, we're not going to, we're not going to compound it. But one of the things, oh, one of the things that, no, can you remember? Let me finish. <laughs> one of the things that members have to learn is that when things are so badly out of order, um, there will be quite liberal interpretations uh, of the answer and a bit of time, a bit of time given to the member to actually get to an answer, but I suggest that he could get to it pretty soon. A further point of order, the Honourable Simon Bridges. We'll just ask you, Mr Speaker, as, as I say, there we've had tiger, pussycat, I think the word you ruled out for me was gutting. I think these are words commonly used. There's commonly colour in questions. There has been for decades in Parliament. And, and I just do want to understand, so we do get it right, what what this position that you're staking out today is so we can understand. And, and I'm uh, going to make very clear to the member that um, all of those expressions are quite acceptable in debate and have been in the parliament for a long time. But order, the member has to, I, I will stand up just to make it absolutely clear the, the seriousness with which I'm taking this. The debate is different from questions. During debate, there are lots of words and lots of approaches and irony uh, is allowed. During questions, they are not. The, the, the tightest part of the parliamentary rule book about what members are allowed to say is in questions. Probably the next is in answers, and then debate is quite, is quite a lot broader. That's, that's always been the case, uh, and, and therefore I, I do ask, especially front bench members um, on both sides, and I, I will say that um, the Deputy Prime Minister, as, as well as uh, Mr Goldsmith, uh, have been developing <laughs> the, the Deputy Prime Minister's case over, uh, over 30 years, um, a, a habit um, of being out of order in their questions. And I am beginning to believe that they know they do. And if they are, that is very disorderly uh, and will have serious consequences. Right. A finishing the answer. For the benefit of the National Party, David Attenborough, a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> Question number six, Kerry McAnulty. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of